The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell four cave divers in Australia. Teenagers and best friends Ron, Sandra, and Christopher all love going on adventures with each other, and originally being from Australia's southern coast, they naturally gravitated towards scuba diving, though obviously not being able to explore Australia's amazing and dangerous coast alone. They soon became friends with an older diving instructor by the name of Dave. Dave himself had about 15 years of diving experience behind him, though his experience was only in diving in the wide open ocean and not in the restrictions of an underwater cave. Though with that being said, on the faithful day of October 9th, 1972, after the four divers were heading home from a weekend of diving on Australia's southern coast, when they decided to take a quick detour and see about a rather unexplored sinkhole known as Allen's Cave. The sinkhole itself is about 65 feet or 20 meters deep and located near Mount Gambier in Australia, which is the second most populated city in South Australia, right behind the city of Adelaide. The city itself is also very famous for its volcanic and limestone features, most notably its blue lake, parks, gardens, caves, and sinkholes. Which now sadly brings us back to our tragic tale. Once the four divers made it through the forest that was leading up to the cave, they then began getting everything ready by making sure everyone had a full tank of air and the correct diving equipment on. Unfortunately though, they decided to leave their guideline in the car as they didn't think that they would be diving too far into the cave and would need it. Not to mention, they didn't think that there would be too many sprawling tunnels or corridors in which to get lost in. So they ended up just thinking to themselves, it'll be fine and what's the worst that could happen. And so after swimming around the shallow parts of the sinkhole trying to get acclimated to the water, they decided to swim down the west side to examine the entrance of the cave just a little bit more. Once they got a little closer, they were able to find a low flat passage between some rocks at a depth of about 19 feet or 6 meters underneath the surface. And Dave, being the most experienced diver of the group, decided he would be the first through and check it out to make sure it was safe for the other three to pass through. Though, as he began to swim, Ron thought it would be a good idea to follow Dave. That way, just in case something bad happened, he had someone there just to help him out. As the two passed through the opening of the cave, they then found themselves in a large cavern with beautiful clear water. But as they turned around to make sure the other two divers were making it through okay, they noticed the entrance completely disappeared as the fins that they were wearing disturbed the dirt on the cave floor, which completely brought down their visibility to a complete zero, resulting in the entire room being silted out. And unfortunately, both Sandra and Christopher had both already entered the opening as well, which only made a bad situation even worse. As they all began searching for the entrance, they began to panic a bit as they all started to realize the situation that they were actually in, which in return only kicked up a ton more silt into the waters around them, making it so that their lights were doing nothing more than reflecting the dirt particles that were right in front of their faces, making it even harder for them to see. By this time, unfortunately, all four divers lost contact with each other, and with time running out on the air in their tanks, it turned into every man for themselves. Ron then frantically and desperately began looking for the exit, but suddenly came across one of his friend's motionless dead bodies. Though since he was laying face down and he was in a panic and desperate, he decided to leave it and continue looking for the exit. It wouldn't be long though that breathing would also become difficult for Ron as well. As he was still searching, he began to feel the hopeless feeling of dying as well, and began thinking in his head that this is it. Even at one point, he lost his regulator, but luckily managed to find it again. And miraculously, he shortly then even managed to find the exit and quickly swam back up to the surface. As soon as Ron resurfaced at the top, he raced to the nearest people to him and called for help. He then raced back and proceeded to take his tank to the water's edge and hit it with a piece of metal to give the other three a signal to find their way out. But sadly, by this time, it was far too late, and Dave, Sandra, and Christopher were all long gone by this time. The next day, a recovery team was put together with one of Dave's friends heading the team, a man by the name of Mark. And while Mark himself was considered a very experienced diver, this mission was more dangerous than anything he had ever done before, especially as the cave itself was still completely silted out the next day. A few hours later, as they entered the cave where the accident happened, they were able to find Dave's body a short distance inside the opening. 
While Sandra and Christopher's bodies were both found together in a narrow dead empath at the far side of the main room, which most likely was mistaken for the entrance by the two. A few days later, after the local paper heard about the incident, they renamed the cave from Allen's Cave to now the more infamous Death Cave. The sinkhole was shortly later off limits for sports diving and was later sealed off to the public by a giant slab of concrete with a gate on it to prevent any future tragedies from actually happening again. While doing most of these videos, there's one common factor that I see in a lot of these cases, that being a lack of knowledge of diving in these caves, no guideline, and total siltouts, leading to total chaos and death. Let me know in the comments, what would you have done in their situation? Or at the very least, what are you learning from all these tragic cases? And once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and turn on the notification bell for more content in the future. Goodbye for now.